Opening up, dropping the bombs. There they go. <laughs> yes. What's up, babe? What's going on, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed the last episode of The Siege. If you missed that, uh, the link to that will be in the description below. Uh, but last episode, we covered the A-10, the P-40 Tomahawk, and the Type 28 tank. Now, everything went pretty smoothly on um, that episode, but we did have some trouble getting certain things to work, and I thank you guys in the comments uh, to help me realize that we do have this free build mode, and we have, sorry about that, uh, cancel, <laughs> quit to desktop, uh, and a all uh, infinite ammo. So these creations are gonna be much more fun. We're gonna have many more opportunities to cause havoc, uh, so I thank you guys for that. Anyways, the first build of today that we're going to be covered is by Michael, or Mil... We're just going to say Michael. Is that Mil... Milkel. Mikkel. Anyways, man, so he designed a C-17 um, without any instructions, and it was posted on April 17th. So I'll show that to you right now. So I had to kind of spend about 10 minutes trying to figure out all the key bindings. I think I got them all working. Okay, so here it is. It is beautiful. Look at this thing. A C-17. It has bombs. Um, hopefully everything will work correctly. Let's go ahead and get started now. Now the target are all those infantry, uh, all those troops down there. We're going to see if we can get this thing uh, on a good heading to drop all the bombs. Now you can see all the bombs right here. So we'll press play. Let's make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. okay, out of bounds. Aha! There we go. It's going to start lagging here. We'll reduce the time. Here, I, I, I want to show it to you how the bombs, the more bombs load here. Yes, go in there. Perfect storage, no worries. Now to close this, we'll press P. Oh, oops, sorry. We got to put our gear down before we press P. Man, come on now. Okay, so we'll put our gear down. I think it's with this button. Look at all that gear right there. Now, if we... Drop the plane right now, it's gonna like crash and everything. So what we gotta do is we gotta extend the gear with the H button. And so we'll press P now to release it. It should hold its own. Oh, dude, so much weight's going on to it. Okay, I think we're good to go. Oh man, this thing, I'm surprised it just held together right there. Okay, we'll close the top here. Gotta secure the bomb bay openings. Now, um, to release the bombs, I think it's this button. Anyways, we'll just take off and see how she does. All right, full power. The engines are spooling. We're starting to move now. My God, what a beautiful creation. Now, I don't think there's any kind of viewing. All, all we have is a third person view, so there's no cockpit. Okay, so I think we built up some good speeds. A speed, let's go ahead and rotate V1. Or V2, excuse me. There it goes. The nose is off the ground, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, pitch back. Oh, it's going back down. More back pressure. You can do it. Oh, there we go. A little bit more speed. And we are... Are we off the ground? I can't tell. Too much shaking right there. I think we're off the ground. Holy crap, we are heavy. Now let's... It looks like we're yawing off course. Let's go ahead and correct it with a little bit of aileron. Oh my god! I think we have to go to sandbox. <laughs> I guess there is a. I guess there is a fucking boundary. All right, let's detonate the bombs. <laughs> oh man, I thought we have boundaries off. Disable boundary box. Okay. So we, we, we learned the hard way right there. All right, take two. I think everything's in order right now. Hopefully there's no uh, invisible wall that we hit. Just want to take a second and just bask in the engineering quality of this craft. All these components go in to make one mean green flying machine. Look at all this stuff. I, I don't know how people do it. Really don't know. Okay, the tower has cleared us to take off. Let's spool the engines up and get rolling. There we go, full power. I love how this uh, the gear system is on like a pivot. Whoa, whoa, look at how the jet engines work. That is insane. <laughs> we got like a Da Vinci stuff back here. <laughs> All right, looking good, looking good. Oh, we're actually going pretty quick now. Let's rotate. Back pressure. Oh, wow, she's doing much better. 
Just want to get it to a point where it doesn't jump too much. There we go. Gear up. Okay, now this, this, so we're yawning a little bit. Let's go ahead and correct. No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong correction. Yeah, we're flying backwards now. Now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to turn this beast around. I couldn't find the, ru the, the uh, rudder button, so it's going to be quite hard to get this thing on target. Uh, but one thing I'm going to do right now is take a long approach. Nice, relaxed, we'll fly out with a C-17 and come back in. The one thing we have to worry about is we don't want to lose um, our reference point behind us. So we're going to try to get around. I think this is a good point to start turning around. Okay, we're, we're, we're losing some components here. I, maybe those are those are the bombs shifting. So now we've lost our reference point, and I don't think we'll be able to find it again. Aha! Aha! I just saw something. There we go. Okay, hang on. Ba back pressure. Back pressure. Oh, this is... I think we're going to be... Oh, wow. We're right on target. Okay, balance it out. Balance it out. Okay, now we got to open the bomb bay doors. Now, I think the bomb bay door is one. Opening up, dropping the bombs. There they go. <laughs> yes, it looks so great. I hope, hope they're on target. Okay, I think all the bombs are gone now. And oh my gosh. Now, now. Oh. That was beautiful. No, don't crash here. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> I hope our pilot survived. Um, what I was trying to talk about while those bombs were dropping is that I thought I had to press K to um, uh, detonate them, but I guess there's a fire source over there uh, that exploded them. That was a perfect drop. I'm just going to start this beast one more time. I, I just want to see how the bombs come out again. Okay, let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. Let's press shift for our airspeed or for power thrust. Thrust is life. Speed is life. Or, I guess you can say wind speed is life, because you really don't need thrust to, to fly if you have enough headwind. I actually flew backwards in my Cessna 152R, or 172R when I was in flight training. We had a GPS, and the um, GPS was reading negative one ground speed, which is insane. Okay, let's slow it down real quick. Okay, let's drop the bombs. Gear up while we do this. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> We're not even moving. We're going so slow right now. Oh, it looks like some of the bombs are off the map. Let's go ahead and detonate. Oh, that is so sick. Oh, shit. Emergency landing. Emergency landing. What just happened? I think our gear assembly fell off. Something's falling off. How much money would I would you guys give me if I can land this beast? Let's try it. We're turning around. We're coming in hot. Yeah, our wings have suffered some damage. It looks like we have some holes in them. This one, we got a hole in our right wing. Thank God it's not left. Okay, keep on turning. You got this, little man. Well, for some reason, the camera is really wonky right now. We're over here. <laughs> I think our plane is going to go down to hell. I don't, there's, there's no saving this crew. But we are making it kind of back to the base. Yep. See, we, we would have landed if our... Yeah, we're definitely dead. Okay, so this is the next thing that we're going to show you guys. This is the Hellfire Assault Helicopter. And this was created by Losh14. And the description says the Hellfire Assault Helicopter is equipped with eight missiles to annihilate any ground targets in your way. Uh, by the way, guys, all these um, custom builds will be in the description below for you to download and try out yourself. But the controls... Let's go ahead and press uh, play. Now this one's small enough and um, the cool thing about this craft compared to airplanes and other uh, crafts is that this one has a really low uh, uh, part count. So it performs much better in the game and much better in, on my computer and in result much better through YouTube. It doesn't look too damn choppy. The controls are R to activate engine. Oh gosh. Shift to increase lift. Do not hold too long. Okay, we're clear to take off. Let's hold shift for a little bit, but not too long. And there we go. We're up. All right, so the arrow keys control my craft. Beautiful. Look at that, man. Now, F, is, they, they say F is to get the camera all straight. Now, this is the camera that, I guess, is the chase camera here. Now, I want to turn this thing all the way around. Now, F1 reset camera, right? Oh, God, there go some rockets. I can't really tell what I'm doing right now because there's no backdrop, but we're going to turn this thing all the way around. 
Ah, uh, okay, I see where we are right now. Okay, good. Okay, no, no, a little bit left. There we go. Oh gosh, this is going to be horrible. Fire! <laughs> what the fuck happened? Beautiful takeoff here. Now, wait, wait, wait. Can we hover and besiege? Hang on. Or with this craft? Let's give it a little bit of negative power or negative collective. Is that what I say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fly helicopters. That's a fucking hover right there, boys. That is gorgeous. Okay, let's turn our target here. <clears throat> oh, how how our rudder works is we use a gyro on the bottom, or or like it spins around, and that would that's what turns our helicopter in the z-axis. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna go on a strike right here. A little bit of power. Oh yeah, these guys don't stand a chance. Fire one. Fire two. Fire three. Fire four. Oh my gosh! They're all in the sky! It's raining fucking bodies! That's all? I thought, thought. Oh, there they are! <laughs> oh shit! We gotta dodge the stone! Oh no! Pull out! Pull out! There we go! Okay. There's still bodies running from the sky. Now, I have a question right now. Why the fuck is my camera way over here? Like, it's. Besiege cameras are so... I don't know, they're so weird to use. You know, and well, I can press F here. Oh, okay. Okay, let's balance this craft out here. We got to uh, land it. Okay, easy there, easy. I know, I know, I know. Hang on. And now, I, and now I need a reference point of what I'm doing because everything's just like this gray. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Auto-rotate, auto-rotate. We're coming down. Oh, this, this this looks pretty damn good. Come on, we got this. A little bit of power there. Ooh, that was a pretty hard landing, but I, oh, we lost a gear. We lost a gear, but hey, our pilot's still alive. If this guy gets any closer, he's gonna fucking hit these blades. Hold on, let, let, let's, let, let's see if he does it. Come on, a little bit higher, guys. A little bit higher. Now, if I if if I lower these blades over to the the right and left, I might be able to get them. Yes, like that. Come on, slice his head off. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that is the Hellfire Assault Helicopter. Next up is pretty freaking crazy. We have a um. A Dove 335 and earlier in this video I was talking about okay there we go all right beautiful now can we play this one on this map I don't know if we can probably too many parts and oh my gosh we can do it but I want to use this thing against a castle because as you guys well here's what I want to say earlier is that you guys told me that I was able to use infinite ammo which we have selected right now so we're able to use these MK 103 30 mils to rain havoc on the enemy's castle. So let's go to that map right now. Okay, so we're on the castle level with the Doe 335. By the way, this was designed and created by Shade. Uh, he says, I don't know what did I do. I don't know what did I do, but this thing has 500 plus block count and expect lower time scale with playing this machine. All right, roger that. We'll lower it to about 36%, maybe a little bit higher than that. Um, but this, if you don't know what this plane is, this is the Doe 335, uh, the fastest uh, World War II uh, piston aircraft and what made this thing different from a lot of twin engine planes is that uh, they were aligned in one line and one was a puller and one was a pusher. Uh, the pull is in the front, the push is in the back and this gave this plane a super aerodynamic um, performance and uh, it was able to reach speeds of I think it was <clears throat> 760 kilometers an hour which is really insane for a World War II aircraft. So our engines are already on. Let's go ahead and release the plane. We're gonna press Z to accelerate. Now this is a normal map, so we have a map border, so we gotta be careful and not extend too far. Back pressure, there we go. Gear up. Oh my God, beautiful. Okay, so let's start turning the plane around and we'll go on our first strike run here in a second. Oh my gosh, we're stalling. Back pressure, back pressure, okay. Oh no, there goes the, uh... oh gosh. Oh god, stay alive! We only have one prop now. 
That was the border right there, so we gotta be careful with that. Now, do we have enough power to keep this plane in the air? Nope, we don't. We're going down. So I moved the Doe 335 back a little bit here, and this should give us enough takeoff room and enough time to uh, figure out our strike path or strike run. Okay, so let's press play here. Release the plane. Press Z to accelerate. I say flying in Besiege is harder than flying in real life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, gear up. There we go, some more power. A little bit of a left hand turn here. Does this game support track IR at all? <laughs> it's kind of difficult. All right, beautiful. What's up people down there? What, why are things falling off my craft? Look at those bow and arrows, or those arrows. They're too slow to get me. Holy crap, we're going like supersonic right now. Okay, let's figure this out. A little bit more power here. Easy. We're gonna go, we're, we're gonna turn into the strike run now. No, I think we need a little bit more room. Actually, oh my gosh, we're right on target. Oh, the cannonballs do nothing! Come on, that was perfect! Okay, let's let's go back around. Oh, we're, we're stalling the plane now. We're stalling. Okay, ouch. No, no, no. Pitch up. Yes! Alright, good. We're still alive. Okay, beautiful. Let's level, level her out a little bit. That shadow down there is helping me out so much right now. Okay, turning back in for another strike run. Oh, the cannonballs! Oh, okay, we killed three. We killed three. <laughs> One guy just hit the mountain right there. Oh, man. Okay, we're getting the hang of this now. Now, for some reason, I think our cannonballs are losing too much velocity when they get there. So we're going to try to get as close as possible this time. Don't. Nope, nope. There we go. Good job. Okay, let's change the camera around. Beautiful. Yeah, that castle is pretty strong for our cannonballs here. I mean, 30 millimeter HVAP has about 95 millimeters of penetration. I'll tell you right now, that rock is probably about... One of those blocks is probably like 500 millimeters even more. Okay, here we go. Another one's coming up. No! Oh god! Oh. Die! You son of a bitches! <laughs> we missed everything. <laughs> okay, one more time, and then we're gonna try to land this beast. I think I'm getting the hang of the siege aircraft. Okay, I want one last good strike run. My oh god! There goes the map border. <sighs> Let's see our landing here. Beautiful. All right, get the cannons on target here. <laughs> yes, this is the most successful strike run so far. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video with these three creations. Uh, these things will be in, or these creations will be in the description below for you guys to download and try out yourself. If you guys have any mods you want me to showcase for you guys, uh, or creations, please let me know in the description, or the comments below. Until next time guys, have a great day. Peace out.